Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. This is going to be a short one. Uh, it's just something that I've noticed. Uh, we've had all, all had a lot of time on our hands over the past, well, you know, during the quarantine and all the stuff that was going on. Uh, so the past year and a half, we had a lot of time on our hands. And I get bored in my retirement sometimes. And so I will watch these reaction channels just for the heck of it, just to see how somebody would react to a movie they've never seen before. And it turns out a lot of them are fake. And a lot of them, they've seen the movie or heard the song or watched the TV show. So they're not reacting. You know, they're just, all they're doing is they're just playing a role and making faces. And these channels have gotten very popular on YouTube. So they, they get like thousands of views per hour. Uh, along with the news regurgitators on YouTube to get thousands of views per hour. Yet people like us who put together these videos and work very, very hard on them, uh, you know, we get screwed over by these low, low effort channels. But hey, you know, what can you do? That's the way it is these days with entertainment. But when it comes down to it, I've noticed something very weird happening with them. One of them, it seems that one of them will review, a, uh, or not review, but they'll react to a movie or a TV show or a song. And then a couple days later, another unrelated channel, another reaction channel, will do the same song, TV, or show, or movie. Then a couple days later, another one. And then a week later, another one. And they all do it in blocks. It's like, uh, for a while they did, uh, well, let's say, The Green Mile. They did the Green Mile, and they one of them did the Green Mile, then the other one did it like a couple of days later, then another channel a couple of days after that, and then just today, you know, or just a, a few days ago, another channel did the Green Mile. Now, there are tens of thousands, well, hundreds of thousands of movies, TV shows, uh, music, everything, in order to, you know, to react to. My question is, you know, has anybody noticed, well, obviously, maybe only a few people have noticed, but why would they all review the same thing, or not review, but react to the same thing within a small block of time? That, to me, is very suspicious. And as a person who's been in the entertainment industry, both in music, movies, TV, all that stuff, I've worked with all those, all, all three of those areas. I know how certain manipulation goes on, and I'm kind of wondering if these reaction channels aren't being manipulated by the entertainment industry itself. You know, bringing an old movie back, you know, in order to bring some more money to friends or something and directing these movie, these reaction channels to react to them. Because it's very, very, very suspicious that they all do the same thing within days of each other. With the vast number of movies, music, and TV we, we have that is out there to react to. Um, and if you don't believe me, just sub to some of those channels or just look up a reaction. You know, look up the Green Mile reaction. Look at how closely everybody reacted to the Green Mile. Look up uh, a Jaws reaction and everybody reacted very close. Look up, uh, uh, now it's the hunt for Red October. Uh, last week, a channel did it, and then a couple days later, another channel did it, and now, today, another channel has done it. And it's like, why are they all reacting to the same movies, the same songs, the same TV shows within days of each other and sometimes weeks of each other? All in the same block with all the vast stuff that we have. It, it doesn't make any sense, and I have a feeling that there's a lot of entertainment industry manipulation going on behind the scenes at Google and YouTube. Uh, it's it, it's just way too, I mean at first it was just okay it's a coincidence you know they're all doing this you know maybe they're trying to piggyback on each other to make money or something like that you know because they saw one made money so they're going to try and make money but then it just kept happening consistently like clockwork and it's been happening I haven't watched these reaction channels except for the past year year and a half that's when I started watching them and I looked back in, their, in the history of their videos, and yeah, they're, they review stuff nearly at the same time as each other. Now, these channels are totally unrelated, but yet they're doing that. So I have no idea why that's happening. And, uh, and reaction channels are just, they're garbage anyway when it comes down to it. There's some good ones where people, you know, do, you know, say things. They make commentary on the movies, and they do, 
you know, they do pretty good stuff, and, and, they're, and they say very intelligent things, which is great. Um, you know, I'm not going to suggest any because you can find them yourself, but they're, you know, they're decent enough channels, and they get enough attention as it is. But the, most of them, the, the, the vast majority of these reaction channels are just garbage. They're just people faking their reactions, and then they got the same stupid thumbnail where they're making the funny face or the shocked face or whatever, you know, in front of the movie and stuff. And, and then they put the entire movie on their on their Patreon, which is, uh, they're charging admission, which is Patreon. you got to pay $5 a month to at the lowest level to be on somebody's Patreon. Or maybe, the, I think it's, you could make it like a dollar a month. I don't know, but they're charging. The th the idea is they're charging people money to have them watch full copyrighted works of another company, like a full movie. Full movie reactions are available on their Patreon. They put it behind a paywall and they charge admission to watch them react to a TV show or a movie. And it's that is illegal all over the place. And I'm so completely and utterly surprised that they haven't been nailed for it. You know, it's greed, obviously, and it's, of course, it's a new way of building a career over YouTube is to do this low-effort shit. And it's it's uh, it's amazing that, that we get nailed, us music creators. Our videos get blocked, we get nailed, and yet these reactors barely get touched. You know, I can't do a Beatles tune. I can't do a Bob Seger tune. I can't do an ACDC tune unless it's to a complete backing track. I uh, can't do a Billy Joel tune most of the time. Then I'll get blocked. Duran Duran blocks me. Uh, all these different groups. Eagles block everybody. Uh, Freaking flock of seagulls blocks people. But yet these reaction channels can put entire copyrighted movies, videos, songs, and stuff on their Patreon and charge admission, and they don't get touched. So, I don't know. It's YouTube's getting really, really screwy lately. I'm going to continue doing it for as long as they don't kick me off the platform. But still, uh, there's some weird shit going on behind the scenes. And it just seems like there's something strange behind it. And it feels, honestly, it's tingling my spidey senses as to media company manipulation and entertainment industry manipulation. Because it certainly feels like it. When you felt that before, you know what it feels like. Anyway, that's what I've noticed, and uh, if you don't believe me, go take a look yourselves at the uh, reaction channels and watch how they react to the same movies, the same music, within days of each other. That's very suspicious. Have a good day.